Once upon a time, an old old so so sent her three little pigs out into the world to seek their for, fortune. Now be sure to write and remember that I love you. The first pig, the first little pig met a man with a lot a load of straw. I know. I'll buy your straw and build a house. That's not a good idea. Mind your own business. Thank you. And he bought the straw and set about building a house. Oh, it took him no time at all. Very soon a lean of hungry wolf happened. Pig was just about to, about his favorite food in the world, so he knocked on the door. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, 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 not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. This annoyed the wolf to no end. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. <coughs> Go right ahead. So the wolf huffed and puffed and he blew the house in. And he gobbled up the little pig. The second little pig met a man with a load of sticks. I've got it. I'll buy those sticks and build a house. I think twice about that. Oh, Pooh, what would you know? And he bought the sticks and went to work building a house. Very pretty. No sooner had the little pig settled into the pretty house that the wolf happened. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, 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 by, not by the hair, my chin and chin chin. The wolf didn't care for that at all. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. Ha ha ha. So the, the wolf puffed and puffed and blew the house in. And he gobbled up the pig. The third little pig met a man with a load of bricks. These bricks will make a fine, sturdy house. Capital idea, my good fellow. So he brought the bricks and set about building a house. It took him quite a bit of time, but it was 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 well worth it. Nice and solid. Nice and solid. But soon it had the little pig move, and that he noticed a wolf lot, lottering about. And the wolf was still hungry. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, 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 not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Well, the wolf had heard that before. Then I'll puff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. But the wolf huffed and puffed and huffed and puffed until he was quite blue in the face. <clears throat> the house stood firm, firmly. Hmm, I'll try another approach. He put on his most docile smile. Little pig, I was only teasing. By the way, I hear tell that Farmer Jones has the most scrumptious turnips. Shall we go pick a few? Oh, I'm much too busy now. What about tomorrow morning? Excellent. I'll come for you at six. The next morning, the little pig got up at five, hurried off to Farmer Jones' turn field, picked a basket of scrumptosis, turno, turnips, scrumptious um, turnips, and dashed back home. When the wolf arrived at six, the tur turnips were already uh, boiling in the hot pan. Sorry, I couldn't wait. The wolf tried not to show his displeasure. displeasure. No harm done, by the way, there is a lovely apple tree down in Merry Meadow. Shall we go help ourselves to a few apples? I must cook my turnips. Let's see about, let's meet there tomorrow morning. Splendid. Shall we say at five? The next morning, the little pig 
was up at four and went off for the apples. It took longer than he expected to reach, to reach Mary Meadow Mellows. And while he was gathering apples in the highest trees, he saw the wolf approaching. Do try one of these. The third little pig threw up an apple as far as he got it at all. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. Ha ha ha. So the the wolf puffed and puffed and blew the house in. And he gobbled up the pig. The third little pig met a man with a load of bricks. These bricks will make a fine, sturdy house. Capital idea, my good fellow. So he brought the bricks and set about building a house. It took him quite